Hey hey folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5. I'm the Game Mechanic, and we're continuing our awesome Let's Play as uh, Korea here. And it's been a little while since I've played, been pretty busy. Um, then I recorded some video stuff, and the sound didn't work, so that was a fail. And so we're back to turn 100, um, and hopefully we're going to get some serious things done here. Uh, I'm anxious to keep playing, and I, people have been saying, oh, I wish you could post more. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I would love to to do nothing but play video games and play Civ Five and do things like that all day long, but alas, I cannot. Um, so I will squeeze it in when I can and give you guys videos when I can. Uh, and fortunately, this is one of those days. It's a beautiful fall day uh, in Chicago, which is where I'm at. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's let's get rolling. Um, let's see, we just finished our war pretty recently with, um, with, uh, Pe Pechacuti, um, who's got his capital Cusco there, and at least one other city that I can see. I'm pretty sure he's got a second one in there somewhere. I think he offered them to me as a part of this peace treaty, which I didn't want. Um, I don't want his crappy cities. We're making good cities. Uh, Busan is on its way. Our capital is pretty strong. Um, building the Chichen Itza there. Five turns away from that. Really cranking out some wonders, which is awesome. And that is uh, helped by the fact that we have uh, a bunch of marble. Marble, some resources, things like that going on. So uh, good things are happening. Um, he probably out militaries me a lot. Um, we should probably work on that at some point. And... Um, you know, I, I had talked about, I think we should try to take Cusco. Um, it's, I think it's pretty strong. I know he's got at least a couple of wonders there somewhere. Um, so that's that's probably an idea at some point. Um, let's take a look at tech. What are we doing tech-wise? Um, we're going into education. That seems all right. Um, that is sort of the point of this Let's Play. Uh, I certainly want Notre Dame. Happiness is awesome. And then, of course, the Porcelain Tower and Oxford... Um, and you, all of these things, building all of these in our capital are going to give us even more scientific boost. So getting that done is a, is a good idea. Um, however, I'm wondering if we shouldn't focus on trying to make these other cities a little bit better. Um, our science is okay. I don't think we're crazy good. We're probably about middle of the road. It's on a pretty hard difficulty, so I think we're doing fine. Um, and this is apparently my error from last time. Uh, I'm just not finishing this guy's turn, my bad. Uh, it's pretty noobish of me. Um, and now we can actually finish our turn. But I have been having other crash issues uh, that I think have been resolved at this point. I haven't played much Civ 5 in the last week or so. Um, I've got a bunch of friends playing League of Legends, so we've been spending a lot of time there, um, though I'm a little burnt out on that. So, back to Civ 5. Um, We'll, we'll progress past turn 100 here. It's 375 BC. Oh, that's right, we've got some archers. Um, let's explore. Um, so there's some stones, some fish, and actually whales down here. So plopping a city there wouldn't be a bad idea. It is, we, we'd get a bunch of useless desert tiles, um, which is sort of a bummer, but still might be worth it. We could always steal the Grand Mesa from our ally, Bucharest, here. Um, he's got a slinger. There's silver. Could plop a city down here, too. There's some fish. We'd have good production down here if we put a city here. A couple fish and whales. Um, once you put in the harbor or the seaport or whatever it is, and get the production from sea resources, that would be pretty strong. I think I'm going to park this guy up here. Um... This guy, he's not going to be happy with us. We we really, this pissed him off. This city here really, really made him mad. And I think we're going to be sort of perpetually at war with him. Um, though fortunately, I think we still have a peace treaty, so I don't really have to worry about it at the moment. And there goes the Oracle. Um, yeah, something I would have liked, but not, we didn't prioritize it, so that's okay. We'll finish the Chichen Itza. Our happiness is getting a little bit low. Um, I think we need to work these gems. Um, that's right, and we've got workers that need to do stuff, so why don't they improve the stone? 
Um, we don't have that tile yet, but let's get a road going. Our roads are pretty strong, actually. Able to funnel troops up um, from Seoul to Busan here pretty quickly when needed. Um, and Seoul's got a, is an excellent, excellent city. Really high production. Uh, are we even production focused? We should be. Let's let's be production focused. Um, do I? I don't. You know what? I don't think I want education right now, though. That's what I was thinking. Um, Maybe we need to discover iron. Even getting lumber mill, actually getting into engineering here would be strong. And then actually, um, our unique unit here would would help a lot if if we wind up going back to war. Plus, I love the forge and workshop; they're really strong. And of course, so is the ironworks. So maybe focusing down here a little bit. Um, we'll stay in the medieval era for a while. Um, that might be a good idea. Let's get construction. It's a measly two turns away can always get crossbow then to let's let's go down that route let's go construction engineering um, for now not terribly worried about steel oh, this guy's a jerk if I remember correctly um, he doesn't have much going on so I think trading this to him is in our best interest he's I think the only other person we've found besides uh, Pachacuti and so improving our relations with him I think is a strong choice um, particularly if it helps him get back into happiness and make better cities so that he can actually be a worthy uh, ally so I'll go ahead and accept they never ask if it's your last one so I'm sure we have our own because we have just boatloads of silver around us barbarian galleys going down here. Bye mm. bye. Dublin wants Vienna eliminated. Um, yeah, that's probably not going to happen at the moment. I don't really have the military force to handle that. Um, so that request is going to go sort of unheeded at the moment. Uh, let's build a quarry. And let's get... Um, I think after the Chichen Itza, we should probably get some military going. We only have two troops up here, and I can see that he's got at least two. Uh, and the, he's up to pikemen, like we are, so... Yeah, they've got a serious dispute. Give me more military, then, we, then maybe I'll help you. Um, so let's do... Yeah, let's just do it tile, at a, tile by tile. Let's build our road. Three things are to be looked to in a building. That it stand on the right spot. That it be securely founded. That it be successfully executed. Great. Um, oh, I want this guy up here. Does he have any bonuses? Yes, he has two in open train. What's this guy got? Also has two in open train. Okay, well, let's, um, let's get him up closer to the front line. Even though we're not really currently at war. Let's take a look at his city here. Oh yeah, he could just kill this troop if he wanted to. But I, again, I think we still are under peace treaty. I could check it, but I'm lazy. He has a healthy amount of slingers. Um, and, and lots of spearmen. So horses actually are really ineffective at this point. We really shouldn't even bother building any horsemen since he could just pretty much slaughter them. Though I love the mobility. Um, oh god. Fatun is established at Chichen Itza. The settlement of the Itza shall take place there. The Katsal shall come. The Green Bird shall come. Akantanel shall come. It is the word of God. The Itza shall come. Alright, so we got four happiness, a culture, um, and then a nice bonus for our Golden Ages, which we're actually getting pretty close to, so um, that'll be pretty cool. When that is time. Uh, we've got some spillover going on, so it's only one turn away from Archer. Let's go ahead and build an Archer. That's a good idea. I don't even care if I lose this guy. I just kind of want to see his empire here, see what he's up to. Looks like he's got another city up there, maybe. Um, move that guy there. Alright, keep building our rude. And the 
this archer is done. Oh, you know what we should... I should have waited. I should really build... Can I not even build it? I don't even have it, do I? <laughs> Let's get a barracks. I want to be able to build a barracks. That's a good idea. Um, but we can start on our pikemen, um, and then pause it once we finish rounds working, build our barracks, finish our pikemen, and then start getting some bonuses for our, for our troops. That's dumb, I shouldn't be building troops without a barracks. Oh well. I don't claim to be good at this game. Yeah, he's got a lot of military. I'm just gonna use that guy as a scout. I don't even think he'd be that effective in helping defend back home if we go to war again. I need more frontline units. I've got a lot of archers. Okay, I should go there. Um, I guess we'll put him there. Hey, my. Open borders. Hey, you've got money again. I will give you open borders if you want to give me money, dude. That sounds cool. In a Hector enter, with a spear eleven cubits long in his hand, the bronze point gleamed in front of him and was fastened to the shaft of the spear by a ring of gold. All right. Um, I think we'll switch the spearmen and get our uh, barracks. Measly three turns, no big deal. Um, I don't know where to put this guy. I guess I can just have a core of archers there. Oh yeah, see he does. He definitely has another another city. No big deal. Um, optics at some point would be a good idea. Uh, yeah, embarking would be strong. Not that we're doing a whole lot of that, or need to do a whole lot of that. Let's finish it. Eh. No, let's finish engineering. I want to be able to do the aqueducts. Bridges over rivers is going to be relevant in just a second. Alright. Put that guy there. Let's finish our road really quick. Um... Well, he's got horses to spare. Let's finish our road there. See what's going on over here. More stone up there. Policy time. What do we want to do for a policy? Um, commerce is irrelevant to us. Merchant Navy is the strongest um, policy in commerce, and it doesn't help us because we only have one coastal city. Though I might build a second in just a minute here. Um, patronage is actually a really awesome early game, particularly if you have a bunch of friends for scholasticism. Uh, piety, we're not going to go because I do want rationalism. Honor isn't, um, as much as we are sort of, we have had our military conflicts, I don't think I'm going to go honor. Um, Republic is actually always strong. Uh, but so is legalism. You know, that would give us... Temples. So that would give us. Does this. Do you have a monument? Yeah, so that would give us two temples and then. Three temples. Three temples. Sounds good. Let's do that. That'll be a good culture boost. Our culture is way low. 38 now instead of 29. So that's nine culture, which is good. Just about to finish our barracks. Let's finish our barracks. Golden Age. What's going on over here? Hey, Belgrade. Little extra money for that. Sounds good. Um, Met Belgrade. Ink are protect protecting them. Busan wants gold. Do I have gold? Don't they have gold? No, they have wine. Does anyone have gold? Um, no. Do they have gold? 
No gems. Huh. All right. No no gold at the moment. Um, Golden Age is awesome, so our money's going to be really good. And Busan needs a. Actually, gold would give us. Ooh, uh, we love the King Day and friendly relations with them. We should try to find gold. Do you have gold? No, you have pearls and negative money again. You suck, dude. Hey, we're friends, though. Huzzah. Uh, yeah, you don't like me. You covet my lands. Built wonder. Yeah. But they do not seem to hold a grudge. Well, that's good. Um, do you have gold? Oh, you have no money. You have incense. Do you want to trade silver for incense? I'm not giving you all that crap. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't want to give you that. How about like one horse? No. I'm actually fine with giving him horses because they suck at assaulting cities. Um, and he already has a bunch already, so it's not like we're giving him something he doesn't have. Um, yeah, actually I'll take your incense. I don't think I have incense. So that gives us more happiness. I, granted, that's probably the wrong time to do it since we're in a golden age, but um, that's okay. It's always good to do things, even if it's not at the ideal time, when you're thinking about them. Just so that you can do them. Alright, let's finish our pikemen. And Busan, what should we build? Where you are. Um, a stable would be strong because they have several cattle. Walls would be really strong too. But I think water mill's the way to go. Boy, look at, he's got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of military around me. It's a little bit intimidating. Um, Alright, next turn. Nothing we can do about it if he wants to come, come and fight. Um, what should they build? Stable would give us one production. But a stoneworks. Stoneworks would give us three production, one happiness for one maintenance. Very good. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> I guess they did hold a grudge. Mm-hmm. You've got a nice little pike there, and you can stomp it on the ground like an angry little child. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, we're at war. You'll pay for this, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick your ass. Go, pikemen. Oh, jeez. He's getting way mega assaulted here. That's kind of brutal. Um, Alright, so we've got that. One turn till engineering's done. Let's build. Let's get our horses here. And what should this guy do? Who can you shoot? Oh gosh. He's got a pikeman near me. That's kind of scary. And an archer. Um, but we do have our pikeman now, which is good. And why don't we give him rough terrain, since I think I'm going to have him go... Attack that guy. Wow, that was not a good trade-off for me. That was really weak. Alright, um... Do we need to prioritize any of these? No. Do we need money? No. Do we need food and growth? Always, but no. Uh, happiness 